Okay, I'm making a recipe from the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Fryer Oven Cookbook by Madeline Sussman. This is page six, 561. It's the apple crumble caramel topping. I already have the flour mixture to roll the apples in. I have the topping here. I have the butter that's not melted. I have the caramels which go in last in this mix. I got my four apples. I got my peeler ready to go. And I don't have a round dish, but I do have one quart rectangular dish that I'm gonna use. And we'll see how it goes. So I'll be right back and we'll look at the before the oven process. I have my apples with the caramels on top. I didn't mix the caramels in. I figured it'd be more, be better for it to be on top instead of mixed in. Okay, now the crumbs on, and I'm waiting for the <clears throat> Ninja Foodie Bake to um, come up to heat. I'm going to wrap this with foil, get it ready to, for the oven. We'll be back in a moment. Now we're going to take the foil off and let it bake for another 20 minutes. Oops, wrong dish. Okay, here's the apple crumble caramel topping. That was on page 561 from the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air Fryer Oven Cookbook by my Madeline Sussman. Let's give it a try. Let's see how good it is. I'm going to take a little bit off the edge. It's still hot. Hmm. That's pretty good. You taste the sugar, nutmeg. Definitely the cinnamon. Look at that. Now I did put steel cut oats in place of the rolled oats because I don't have rolled oats. But it's still good. A little crunchy. Not bad though. Alright. Well this is the review. I'm going to give this cookbook a four stars. And the reason for that is because they don't have a table of contents. You have to go to the back of the book to the index in order to find the recipes that are linked to the recipes. So it would be better if they had the table of contents. So if the author can fix that, I would have no problem going back and giving it a five star. I look forward to making more of these recipes out of this book. Thanks for watching.